Luther Burbank was the most famous son of Santa Rosa. And although it's closed now, I'm going to see what I can see of his home and gardens from the outside. The city of Burbank is right next to the Hollywood section of Los Angeles, and San Jose even has a section called Burbank, with a Burbank school and so on. So he's very highly honored in California. Just after 7 o'clock, the Vesper service lasted two hours, certainly the longest Vesper service I ever was at, but presumably Burbank developed many of these species, maybe all of the ones in this garden for all I know. whether there's any connection between Santa Rosa as the name of the city and Burbank's work with roses. I have nothing, I have no information either. Well, that's a different rose. Almost looks like a poppy. Before the July rose. Here, just a few uh, feet away from the rose that looked like a poppy, are some real poppies. So you can compare. These golden yellow ones are California state flower. They're not doing very well here. They do well most of the state. Poppies from 1892 to 1922. Look at the huge cactuses. And over here are even bigger ones, I guess. These you can walk through. just to prove that I will get in the middle of them. Can't actually walk through because it only goes in and then back. What a huge cactus plant.
I've seen this growing wild many places in California. And I wanted to get the name of it, but I can't see. Oh, here it is. No, maybe not. I don't think this big plant is the Daisy, Canyon Daisy. <laughs> so what is it? What is it? I don't know. It's very uh, fragrant smell and it tastes like licorice. So I used to think it was Anset, but I'd seen somewhere that it isn't Anset either. Good old mint here. Scented geranium. Century hmm. garden. Oh, I think fennel is uh, maybe the name of that big plant. And as I said, it grows wild all over California. Beautiful park on the other side of the road. It's gotten fairly cool now, so I can't walk very long. Well, I do have my sweater in the car. So maybe I will walk over there. I'm parked in a place that I'm all set for the rest of the evening since the meters are not being taken, taking money now. I guess you have to have a printed brochure to know what's on the map. Reconstructed. 1959. Oh, here's. I'm not sure. So, as usual, I'll take this to read later and probably never will. Luther's dates 1849 to 1926. Home and experimental gardens. Citizen of the world whose love for youth and growing things was expressed in his work done in these gardens. The perennial, the perpetual <laughs> ownership of these grounds is now vested through the generosity of Mrs. Burbank in the city of Santa Rosa. Luther, Luther Burbank was born in Massachusetts and arrived in Santa Rosa in October 1875. He would have been 80, uh, 26 years old at that time. In 1884, he purchased four acres surrounding this site as a place for horticultural experiments. Here he lived and worked until his death in 1926. I believe Charles Schultz, <laughs> Charles uh, Short, Schultz, I was going to say Schwartz, but it's Charles Schultz, the creator of Peanuts, is also a uh, famous uh, resident of Santa Rosa. Of course, he died a few years back, but he's also remembered here. Beautiful houses across the street here. Some cottages and some big houses side by side. I'm sure my camera is going to die on me.
never heard of cell phone tours before, but why not? Sounds like a good idea, actually. Santa Rosa is about 50 miles north of San Francisco, about the same distance as San Jose, but from San Francisco to San Jose is urban area all the way, whereas this is surrounded by miles of uh, rural uh, farm country and so on. And it's uh, June 11th. Tomorrow is Pentecost, and that's probably why the Vesper service was so long tonight. The Russians uh, have a different approach than we have in the Antiochian Church. Um, everybody went up to be uh, chrismated again, uh, not in the... Um, mental sense, of course, but we all received uh, holy chrism on their, our foreheads as part of the Pentecost, because Pentecost is the feast of the Holy Spirit, and chrismation is the imparting of the Holy Spirit sacramentally. Well, I got my sweater on, and uh, I'm across the street now. This is not the big park that I was admiring. It's another one that I found on the way to that one. This is the Gateway Park, Prince Gateway Park. I don't know if there's a Prince from Santa Rosa too, besides Burbank and Schultz. And even around across the corner from it. Huh. There's apparently a tribute to Schultz. <laughs> One of the peanuts is uh, there on, in statue form right across from me. I think that's Lucy. This is interesting. There's a river down there. I had seen this when I was driving toward the church, and I uh, didn't realize it was this close to where I parked. And here's a rather dramatic bridge across the river. I haven't seen any name for the river. It might be the Russian. And it looks like it's underground until it comes out under that bridge. The Russian River is the most famous river in this part of California, but I'm not sure whether it's this far north or not. But I'll bet it is. I saw a sign to Guerneville, and I know Guerneville is on the Russian River. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, I don't see any mention of what the river is on that sign. Looks like there's a trail there, and one on this side, too. Decisions, decisions. I wanted to go through that other park, and now I'm tempted by this one. I guess I'll go at least a block to the next street over. Very nice views along this block. There's the I was just on.
And there's a trail going down to the water, probably for fishing. But I'll take the high road. I'm here at this very colorful fountain. There's some wild fennel, fennel growing. Alongside the other weeds. There are over scenic overhangs and overlooks along this trail. And down there you can see where the side trail goes, just down to the water as I expected. Almost like a swimming hole, but uh, I'd bet there's no swimming allowed. But probably fishing is. And then there's the next side street that goes over the trail, and the trail goes up to meet it and also goes under it. I wonder how long. And then the street that the trail comes under is South A Street, part of the Prince Memorial Greenway, it says. And the trail goes on, but I'm not going to go any farther. I'm going to go to the other park now. And that's a cynical sign. And this is the far end of the park across the street from the Burbank Gardens. So it's just a one block long park. And here in a section of the park is what appears to be a neighborhood vegetable garden where there's some very large vegetable plants growing for this time of year. Swiss chard there, some kind of melon vine, maybe cantaloupe. I think that's Swiss chard. Very large tomato plants some strawberry plants with some ripe strawberries on them. I'm reading a lot behind, between the lines here, but here's a park bench dedicated to Ripley's, believe it or not. And there's a two-headed calf. And in the background is what looks like a barn. And then just beyond this, these trees, looks like what is that building, the barn. So I'm guessing that uh, there was a two-headed calf lived there. Although as I look at that building closer, it looks like there's some stained glass inside. So maybe it's an old church. I'll go over and see. Well, it definitely looks like a church when you're closer to it. So my theory probably wasn't correct why they would have that there, I don't know. This looks like a historical marker, but it's more like a gravestone. Doesn't really say anything about the building. Well, this is another clue as to what it was. This is the church built from one tree, and that's probably something that was in Ripley's, Ripley's believe it or not, in the day. So I don't know what the connection to the two-headed calf might be, but that seems to solve the mystery.